Let's put our hands together and give the Lord a praise. If you want to be more like him, why don't you touch somebody and say, I want to be. Say, I want to be more like him. Now put your hand together with the choir as they finish up. I want to be more like him. Come on. Here we go. Come on. Let's give the Lord another hand clap. Press our God. How many want to be more like him? Well, lift your hand to heaven and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. I want to be more like the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Just lift your hands and praise this tonight. Knowing that you love him and knowing that he's God in your life and of your life. He's our rock, our deliverer, our refuge, and all that we need in this day and hour. Hallelujah. Hallelujah able to do great exceeding and abundantly above all that we ask to think because he is God all by himself and certainly there is none else hallelujah who can compare with him who is like him the glorious God the awesome God the mighty God the delivering God the holy God hallelujah somebody just put their hand together give him some praise and say I want to be more like him hallelujah praise our God in the book of St. John, the 17th chapter, turn your Bibles with us as we go quickly to the Word of God. We want to thank God for those of you that are tuning in by way of television. And we are grateful to God for how the Lord has blessed you, my friend. Amen. Through the Word of God and the Bible, Holiness Restoration, our ministry. If you're listening in the Tubalo area, may God richly bless you. I want you to know we had a glorious time as we were there in that area on last week. And God moved by His Spirit in a great way. And looking for the Lord to do wonders by his anointing. In St. John 17, we're going to go to the, amen, 11th and the 12th verse. And then we will read just a little further, amen, with our reader. We're certainly glad for Jesus and the Holy Ghost, how he's blessed us already. How many know you've been blessed already? Thank God. I tell people everywhere, there's nothing like God in your life. Hallelujah. In the 11th verse, let's read it together. And now I am no more in the world. This is Jesus talking. But these are in the world. And I come to thee, Holy Father. Keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are one. Can we say amen today? You may be seated. Don't forget those of you that desire to call in. Our telephone numbers are 779-8951 and 779-9249. Someone is waiting to receive your call and your prayer request. Care to write us? The St. Mark Church Post Office Box 20599 to Chicago, Illinois. Our zip code is 60620. We're enjoying Jesus over here and invite you to come, my friend, and be with us. Amen at 8332 South on Ashton Avenue. We are so thankful for how the Lord has moved by his spirit and blessed us. And we know without a doubt there's none like him nowhere. You can search the heavens and search the earth, but you will not find anyone like Jesus. Amen. We've been talking all day long about the keeping power of God. Can you touch someone and say the keeping power of God? The keeping power, the sustaining power. We, we, we are endeavoring to convey to people, amen, don't be afraid to get saved. Don't be afraid to get delivered from your sin. Because God has an ability to keep you. God has an ability to sustain you. And there's nothing you could possibly need on this earth, in this earth, or through this earth that God cannot provide for your life. As we talked on this afternoon, and the Lord, amen, continuously blessed us, and we call this the keeping power of God too, amen. Keeping power 
praise God amen this is chapter 2 of what we've been preaching on today amen. if you'll notice he said in the 11th verse and now I'm no more in the world now he didn't mean he wasn't physically in the world he was standing praise right there talking but he was letting them know he's getting ready to go away and Jesus let us know in the scripture if I go away I will prepare a place for you and I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am there ye may be also and I say to you wherever Jesus is that's where I want to be amen whether the east the south the north the west I want to be where Jesus Christ is because I know in his presence is fullness of joy and all you have to do is have a mind to fellowship with him have a mind to live in him wrapped up tied up and zipped up knowing him in the part of your sins knowing him as a deliverer a savior a healer and all that you need in this life I tell people everywhere he will fulfill amen your desire if you have if you will a lacking in your soul and somebody said you know I have money I have everything but it's just like I'm just lacking something I need something I want you to know that something is Jesus Christ hallelujah you remember that song that lady sang didn't we almost have it all I say the saints have it all the believers have it all because we have Jesus Christ we have all that we need and I tell you all we have to do is go on and live according to his word and continue to praise him and bless him and magnify him you remember what David said my soul doeth magnify the Lord hallelujah I will bless the Lord when at all times his praises shall continually be in my mouth I don't intend to live a life of emptiness a life of frailty a life of weakness a life of defeatism when God has put in his word all I have to do is trust him and God has the ability to keep me from evil and everything that the devil want to throw my way but you have to have that mind to serve him you have to know that God is a preservationist in other words he will preserve you from all evil everything that comes your way and how many of you know the devil's trying to fight you right now trying to beat against the walls of your mind and destroy what God has given you by way of envisionment people have to understand the devil don't come to help you the thief cometh not but to steal kill and to destroy but look what Jesus said I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly I'm excited about the future because the future is bright for the saints of God no matter what you're going through now tell somebody don't worry about it because weeping shall endure through the night but the scripture says joy shall come in the morning look at someone say I'm looking for morning time Oh, bless our God. It's going to come in the motive. And all you got to do is go through the night and go through the problems and go through the trouble. Everything the devil want to dish out your way. Everything the devil want to offer you. Say, come on with the devil. Hallelujah. I have Jesus on my side. I have the power of the Holy Ghost sustaining me and keeping me. How I many know God has the ability to keep you? Honey, he can keep you in a time of trial. He can keep you in testing time even in times of temptation when the devil is tempting your life and don't want you to do the will of God God said I'm there to sustain you I will hold you up hallelujah I will take you up I will strengthen you I will bless you and I tell you you can't get too bad for God God said I'm with you in times of trouble I'm with you in times of temptation and don't you need somebody on your side when you're going through hallelujah nobody want to go through by themselves nobody want to go through with it out in the light at the end of the tunnel so you got to say Lord I need you on my side I need you to go my barn I need you to stand up in me I need you to bless me in this time of trouble the devil is coming with hand tooth and nail fighting the devil is beating against the wall of my mind and look like I'm going down through the tubes but God I know you have the power to 
deliver. I know you have the power to bring me out. I know you have the power to take me up and take me over and give me the victory in this day. Look at someone say, God has the power to keep your life. Tell somebody he's a keeper today. Tell somebody he's a preserver. Tell somebody he will help you in a time of need. How many know he'll help you? Sometimes you look for friends to help you and look for relatives to help you. But honey, they're not there. Oh yes, you look and say, listen, I know they're close. We've been close for years and look like the time that you need them, they run out from under you. But I tell you, God will never leave you and God will never forsake you. Hallelujah. See, God is an eternal God and if he speaks a word, you can take it to the bank because if God said it you can stand on it hallelujah and when he told you in the scripture in Isaiah 54 17 no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that rise up against you in judgment he said shall be condemned tell somebody I'm not worried about what the devil's talking about honey he's not talking a nickel's worth of nothing he just wants you to hear amen so he can get into the hearing of your ear get into your heart get into to your mind and your soul but when you learn to fight him when you learn to stand up and say devil I know you are a liar and the truth is not in you when you learn to praise God anyhow in spite of the conditions in spite of the problems in spite of the trouble in spite of what the world is bringing against you you can give God some glory amen and God said I'll set a table in the midst of your enemies I'll prepare hallelujah a table in the wilderness and you will be my child and I will be your God I tell you today my friend he's a keeper those of you that are sliding back and those of you that are regressing and those of you that feel the need for God to touch you and uplift you you feel the need for God to come in and anoint your life and tell somebody there's nothing like the anointing I tell people seek the anointing you don't have a nickel's worth of nothing till you get anointed honey and when you get anointed every demon and devil that comes your way Honey, listen, they're ready to turn back and run the other way because God said, I have empowered you. I have anointed you. I have preserved you. I have kept you in the palm of my hand. And when God keeps you, honey, there's not a demon that can get to you. He has to swim through the hand of God. He has to go through the hand of Christ in order to get to you because your life is hid with Christ in God and when he which is our life shall appear then we shall appear with him also where in glory how many looking for Jesus to come in glory oh bless our God there's a happy time for the saints there's a glorious time coming listen we might be going through right now but tell somebody don't worry about it I don't mind suffering now because the best is yet to come I don't mind going through now because I know after a while the devil's going to be under my feet can we say hallelujah Clap your hands out there and tell somebody God is a keeper. Oh, bless our God. Look at somebody say he's a keeper. Hallelujah. I want to do a little reading here in 2nd Thessalonians. Can we say amen? But before we go to that, I want to do stay in St. John 17. And we're in the 12th verse because Jesus is talking here and he's talking about the keeping power of God. And look what the 12th verse says. While amen. I was with them in while, the world. While I was with them in the world. I kept them in thy name. Mm -hmm. Those that thy gavest me. Yes. I have kept. He said, I've kept. Yes. I've kept them in thy name. God, Father, I've kept them in your name. Yes. While I was in the world. How many you know God can keep you? Yes. Wherever you are. I say wherever you are. Oh, bless our God. You can be in the midst of a thousand gamblers and don't have to gamble. Oh, bless our God. You can be in the midst of whoremongers and don't have to whoremonger. Oh, bless our God. You can be, listen, you can be in the midst of folk doing their things and taking their clothes off and getting butt naked and you don't have to get naked because God is a keeper. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. Oh, bless our God. The devil is a liar when he thinks he has people that's going to have part of the church and have part of the world. You cannot have one foot in the church and one foot in the world because no man can serve two masters. He will love one and hate the other or he will despise one and cling to the other. Somebody said, child, it's hot out there. Honey, I wouldn't care if it get 500 degrees keep you some clothes on amen somebody tell somebody God is a keeper
keeper. Tell somebody he's a divine keeper. Tell somebody he's a way maker. He's a deliverer. He's a savior. Oh, bless our God. I feel like shaking up here. Oh, bless our God. Can we say amen, somebody? Well, Jesus is able to keep the apostles. He says, while I was in the world, amen, I kept them in thy name. In other words, Jesus was the keeper. But I have you to know he had another keeper. And that other keeper hadn't made it yet. But he said, I go to prepare a place for you. He said, I'm going away. And if I go away, I'm going to send the comforter back to you somebody said who is the comforter somebody say the holy ghost oh glory i said the holy ghost he's a comforter can we say hallelujah you know the devil is alive and the devil will try your mind and the devil will try your heart the devil will bring everything against you and everything to you and make you feel like god's not on your side but you gotta reach way 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 down and say devil you don't understand understand I made a commitment to God the other day I made a covenant with the Lord and I told him I'm gonna stand and hold out the bloodstained banner I'm gonna let the devil know you can't have this soul you can't have my life because God saved me because God delivered me because God helped me because God preserved me because God kept me because God lifted me say yeah I said say hallelujah Put your hand together and tell somebody God is a keeper. How many you know he's a keeper tonight? Have he kept any of you today? Honey, he's a keeper today. There's some of you that have been a amen in the car and you got right up on the other car and looked like they were going to crash. Amen. And, and have thousands of dollars worth of work. And God was able to stop that car just a fraction of an inch before you reach the other bumper. Somebody said, oh, look what I did. I put the brake on in time. Dummy, it wasn't you. It was God that delivered you. Can we say hallelujah? Oh, glory. Tell somebody he's a keeper. He'll keep you in the car. He'll keep you in the home. He'll keep your children. He'll keep your life. He'll keep your mind. He'll keep your soul. He'll keep your blessing. He'll keep your hope. And somebody say, keep hope alive. Can we say hallelujah? Clap your hand out there and say, I know. God is a keeper how many know he's a keeper tonight let's read this bible daughter jesus is in the world and jesus is talking and he said i've he said father keep these up keep your servants and keep my disciples honey when you become a believer you don't have to worry about god keeping you hallelujah when you become a saint you don't have to worry about god sustaining you god said i will cover thee with my feathers can we say hallelujah i will overshadow thee with my protection and i'm gonna keep you from the hand of the enemy even though he want to destroy you even though he want to eliminate you and eradicate you I'm going to keep you in the palm of my hand. Can we say glory? Can we say hallelujah? I don't know about you, but many times the devil has come to my life and said, wait a moment, you're not going another further. I said, get out my way, devil, because God's on my side. And if God be for us, then who can be against us? It's time to trample on his head and dance in his mind and kick his eye out and spit in his face and let the devil know you're a liar and the truth is not in you. Put your hand together and say he's a keeper. Oh, I need to work. Hey, tell somebody say he's a keeper. Shake somebody's hand out there and say, God is a keeper. How many know he's a keeper? Come on, daughter. Let's read a little more. Can we say man, church? I said, shake somebody's hand and say, God is a keeper. I got a dead bunch in here, but that's all right. I'm going to preach anyhow. Can we say hallelujah? I said, glory to God. We ought to be making more noise than the White Sox, honey. We ought to be making more noise than the Chicago Bulls because we got something to make a noise about. And I heard him saying, make a joyful noise under the laws. He said, oh, ye hallelujah. His saints, he said, serve him with gladness. Tell somebody I got to serve him with a smile on my face. I got to serve him in praise 
Jesus in glory. I'm not going to let the devil keep my temper down. I'm not going to let the devil keep my mind down. I'm not going to let the devil walk on top of me because the power, tell somebody the power is on the inside. Say the power is in my life. Say the power is in my soul. Say the power has made me whole. Put your hand together, say God is. Look at somebody eyeball to eyeball, say God is. Hey, hey, say God is a keeper. Put your hand together and give him some. Oh, 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 shout. Oh, glory to God. How many know he's a keeper? I want to teach a little while. Hey, Amen. You ought to say teach, Bishop. I time oh, 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 Hey, bless our God. I want to teach a little bit. I tell everybody when you get what I got. Look at somebody say when you get what I got. Honey, you're not just whistling Dixie. You got something on the inside. Because I heard Jesus saying, out of thy belly, he said, shall flow rivers of living water. Yeah. Can you say glory? God will bless you. He'll take that sorrow away and give you joy. He'll take that sad face away and put a smile on it. He'll take away the spirit of heaviness, the spirit of depression, the spirit of darkness, the spirit of sickness, and deliver you and bless you and put you in a place that God can bless you. Say yeah. Say glory. Clap your hands back there and say I know now somebody say I know God is a keeper can we say hallelujah well what is he saying daughter I'm in St. John 17 and 12 can we say amen hallelujah I'm speaking to someone in television land I'm speaking to you as you're sitting there watching the television and God wants you to know that you don't have to go down with the rest can we say hallelujah he said I'm a God of a second chance hallelujah God said I'll give you the opportunity to come back to me I'll give you the opportunity to get rewashed and reanointed and refilled can we say hallelujah even though you're messed up even though you went astray even though you left me even though you walked out on me my love for you is greater than you can imagine can we say hallelujah because I heard him saying with loving kindness have I drawn thee can we say glory tell somebody I've been drawn by his love I've been washed in his blood I've been delivered by his word I've been empowered by the spirit say yeah yeah look at somebody and say he's a keeper shake the hand shake the hand shake the hand shake the hand say I know he's a keeper tell somebody I know he's a keeper tell somebody I'm sure about it oh bless our God oh Hallelujah. Can we say man church? What does the Bible say? Look at somebody say, what does the Bible say? As you continue to watch this telecast, you'll hear this over and over. Not what Bishop Terry says, but what does the Bible say? Can we say hallelujah? Because the mouth of the Lord, he has spoken it. And if God said it, tell somebody you can take it even to the bank. Because God cannot, God will not. God shall not lie. Can we say glory? And when you get down and get in trouble, the Lord said, I will get you out. Even though you got yourself in, I'm going to deliver you and get you out. I'm going to raise you up and put joy in you, a run in your feet, a clap in your hand, a shout in your soul, a blessing in your mind. Say yeah. Say glory. Look at somebody say, I know. He is a keeper. Tell somebody he's a keeper tonight. What did the Bible say? Look at somebody say, what, 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 what? Say, what did the Bible say? Oh, bless our God. I'm you feeling pretty good tonight. Look at somebody say, I'm feeling pretty good. Now, we're not one of these worldly churches saying, give them a high five. We ain't in that mess, honey. Amen, somebody. 
we'll shake your hand and we'll touch you and we'll look at your eyeball to eyeball but we ain't gonna give no high fives because after a while you'll be doing the gangbangers handshake can we say man somebody but God said I love you anyhow and because I love you he said I'm gonna look upon you because I love you I'm gonna cover you because I love you I'm gonna bless you I'm gonna lift you from the degradation I'm your only help if you're gonna get out of it you got to call on me if you're gonna get out of it you got to look to me if you're gonna get out of it you got to stand on my word say yeah hey look at somebody say God is tell somebody a keeper what did he say daughter let's read here a little bit I want to do some teaching can we say man church look at somebody say I feel pretty good tell somebody say I feel pretty good the devil tried to make you feel bad he always wanted to love me and don't nobody care I just feel so bad oh stupid though get on up and suck it up can we say man and tell the devil you a lie because I'm reaching after Jesus the Bible said if you happily feel after him even though he's not far from every one of us tell somebody I called him in the morning say I called him in the noonday hour I called him in the wee hours of the morning and he heard my cry yeah put your hand together out back there and say I know he's a keeper I'm trying to settle down here oh my mama hallelujah praise our God I know people look say look at that old man on television amen he's just shouting and dancing well don't be jealous of me because I got the Holy Ghost and I got the just somebody so you can have it too what did it say look at somebody say what did it say ay 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 oh baba hallelujah amen somebody see we're not the type of church that eat dinner and come back heavy amen somebody eat turkey and dressing and fried chicken and got the nerve to put some hot sauce on it and you come back here and sit up like there's a, a sack of semen in your life can we say hallelujah honey if you had it in the morning you ought to have it in the noonday and when the evening time come you ought to be able to wave your hand and say glory and say thank you jesus can we say hallelujah to because there's a praise that's somebody that's an eternal praise and we're offering the sacrifice of praise under the Lord you might not feel like it you might want to don't want to do it but sacrifice under God and say I'm gonna praise you anyhow I'm gonna magnify you anyhow I'm gonna glorify you anyhow put your hand together and give God some praise out there amen somebody look what it says here in the bible tell somebody in the bible let me teach daughter oh, 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 oh. Woo. Glory to God. what does it say st john 17 and 12. amen what did it say mm -hmm. while i was with them in the world now while i was with them in the world this is jesus talking yes while i was with them in the world amen. what did he say i kept them. I kept them in thy name. I, hallelujah. Yes, Somebody wonder what happened to the apostles. How were they able to go to the day of Pentecost and receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost? According to Joel 2.28, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see vision and your old men shall dream dreams. You know how they were able to get there? You know how they were able to get in the upper room with praises and glory and honor and the Shekinah glory just descended upon them? You know how they got there Jesus said I kept them while I was in the world honey I want Jesus to keep me oh bless our God I don't want you to keep me because you you let me go but if Jesus keep me hallelujah honey I'm kept hallelujah real good can we say man I'm kept with some joy tell somebody I'm kept with some joy I'm kept with some praises I'm kept with salvation I'm kept with a miraculous life I'm kept with an anointing I'm kept I'm kept with a dedication. I'm kept with a mind stayed on him. Tell somebody he'll keep you. Oh my, 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 my. Read this Bible, daughter. I got a dead bunch, but I'm preaching anyhow. Hey, bless our God. What did it say? What did it say? I feel like dancing a little tonight. Come on here. Oh, bless our God. What did the Bible say? Those that, uh -huh. those that thou gavest me. Now, now look what he said. Those, those that God gave me. 
have verse, kept. Verse, verse, praise our God. 12, verse 12. Verse yes, 12. Uh -huh. In St. John 17. He said, those that God has given me, he said what? I, I have kept. kept. Mm -hmm. And none of them is lost. None of them is lost. But the son of perdition. And the son of perdition is Judas Iscariot. Yes. Praise God. He Praise was Lord. lost because you know what he did? He betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. Amen, somebody. And then when he came in the garden of Gethsemane, and the Bible said, Judas told the, the centurions, he said, now the one that you see me kiss, that is him. And Jesus walked up to Judas and kissed him. Hallelujah. And they knew. Amen. That there was a kiss of betrayal. They knew that Judas was pointing out Jesus. Hallelujah. But Jesus had already prayed. It's something about it when you've already prayed. Look like it builds up your faith. When you've already prayed, you're not worried about the devil. When you've already prayed, God is on your side. Jesus had a little talk with the Father and it made it all right. Can we say hallelujah? Honey, Peter got a little mad and Peter took out a sword and Peter began to chop at the man's ear and cut the man's ear off. But look at the most shot at the power of the Holy Ghost. Look at the anointing of God. Jesus picked the man's ear up off the ground and put it back on his oh, blessed side, God. Put it back on his face. Hallelujah. Honey, there's no power like the power of God. Somebody said, I don't believe that. Well, that's your prerogative. But I believe everything it says. I believe he got up after three days and three nights. I believe he resurrected. I believe he lifted up his hand and said, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Clap your hand out there and say, he's a keeper tonight. Tell somebody he's a keeper tonight. What did it say, daughter? Let's read a little more. Saint, what, did, what did it say in the word here? St. John said, verse, uh, mm -hmm. chapter 17, verse 12. All right, what did it say? I was with them in the world. I was with I, them in the world. I kept them in thy name. Ah, shah. Glory Hallelujah. to God. Hallelujah. Look what he said. Those that thou gavest me, mm -hmm. I have kept. I have kept. And none of them is lost. And none of them is lost. But the son of perdition. And what did he say? What did he say? That the scripture might be fulfilled. Might be fulfilled. What did he say? And now come I to and thee. And now come I to thee. And these things I speak in the world. And, and Jesus is telling the Father, these things that I speak in the world. Yes. Hallelujah. This is called the farewell prayer of Thank Jesus. You. Talking to the Father concerning and the disciples to preserve them and, and marrying men and putting on amen the, the finger of man and will you be my bride and here's a hard leg man just like the other man is stinking y'all ain't saying nothing here amen somebody God don't have one man marrying another man cause he can't have a baby by him can we say hallelujah I tell you the devil is 40 lies got everybody messed up got folk going astray and going apart amen from the truth of God's word and we have to tell the devil you're still a liar people don't like us but we have to tell the devil you a lie on top of a wheelbarrow full of lies amen somebody look at y'all looking at me here amen somebody they passed a law in Canada just two days ago three days ago they said it's all right now a man can marry another man and it'll be legal but it's not legal with God it's not legal with the scriptures oh bless our God honey I'm glad God has kept me cause spirits are floating around and if you don't watch out one of them might latch on to you and you'll end up licking up after another man can we say glory but the devil, I said the devil is a liar. I'm glad I'm a whole man. And I'm a man of a man of a man. Can we say man? And somebody said, what a man, what a man. What a man, what a man. Can we say glory? The devil will get people's minds and distort them and confuse them and make them go one way when God say go another way. But I'm glad to know we have a keeper that will keep our minds in the midst of confusion, in the midst of degradation, in the midst of sin, in the midst of back in the midst of lying in the midst of cheating in the midst of gambling God is able to keep our minds tell somebody he can keep your mind he'll keep it from the hand of the devil he'll keep it from the hand of the enemy clap your hand one more time and say he's a keeper no let me read daughter what did the Bible say folks don't like it when I talk about those men 
Same thing with the women. What 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 kind of what kind of marriage is it with a woman with a woman? Amen. Rubbing on her and, and rubbing on her boobs and doing everything. It's a devil's lie somewhere. Amen. Somebody. Amen. If I was a woman, I wouldn't want no woman. Give me a man so I could get something in me. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Amen. No. I'm losing half the church. Look at somebody say he's losing half the church. But say the truth is a light. <laughs> Y'all ain't look at these folks. What is the Bible saying, daughter? Hold the music a moment. I want to teach this thing here. Ay, 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 ay. Amen. The old saints used to say, ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 What a man, what a man. What is this Bible saying, daughter? St. John. Amen. St. John, John 17. What did he and say? Verse 13. And verse 13. And now come, come uh, I to thee. And now, look at this. He said, come I to thee. To thee. Uh -huh. And these things I speak in and the world. And these things I speak where? In the world. In the world. That they might have my joy. Oh, look at this. Fulfilled now, in now themselves. Somebody said, I don't think that preacher ought to be preaching it. Oh, shut up. You don't tell the man to God what to preach. Amen. So this, this thing, what I'm preaching, to take you to heaven. And if you don't want this, you ain't saved in the house. Amen, somebody. It's more than just accepting the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. If you just accept him. And then they go back and get into bed with John Suley and, and, and Sally and Truly. Amen, somebody. You got to do more than accept Jesus as your Savior. You got to be doers of the word and not hearers only. And Jesus said, now if you continue where? in my words then are you my disciples he said indeed honey i'm running for my life i don't have time to play with folk i don't have time to play with the devil we have to cry loud and spare nobody and let the devil know that god is alive that god is on the inside that god has covered me that god has kept me that god has sustained me say yeah clap your hand one more time and tell somebody he's a keeper can we say amen now the choir is ready to sing off, aren't they? But I got to preach here. And music don't save nobody. But the word of God saves everybody. Oh, glory. Hey, just, just sit down, choir. Just sit down. Just sit down. Now, come on, daughter. Read evangelist. Come on. Read, read anyhow. Amen. The, the word has to take preeminence here. And, and thank God for your melodious voices. But melodianism does not save you. Oh, bless our God. And sometimes I need a song. And sometimes I say, sing me a song. And sometimes I say, lift them up and sing songs of deliverance. Can we say hallelujah? But then there's sometimes God say, keep on rolling and keep on preaching and keep on crying because somebody need this word somebody need this God somebody need this covering put your hand together and say somebody need it what did it say daughter amen praise God my friend Pastor Terry is so happy to come to you with this Bible holding this restoration now, I want you to know I need about two hours a day to preach this message to you this is part two of the keeping power of God. Those of you that like to call in, our telephone numbers are area code 773-779-9249 and 779-8951. Someone is waiting to receive your call and your prayer request. Dial in right now. 50 of you, 100 of you, pick up the phones and call right now. This time, my prayer of faith, Father God, we thank you for your anointed word. Thank you for your blessing, your love, your peace, your kindness, your tranquility, your serenity. Oh God, that envelops our heart and inundates our soul. Touch right now and bless oh god look upon those that need you more than anything in the world and move on their behalf and lift the heavy burdens and straighten out the confusion that the devil has come to disrupt in the name of jesus we praise you we love you and we honor you and we bless you out of the city of zion and so it is through the authority of the holy